guys, how's everybody doing? In this video, I'm going to explain to you what MetaMask is, and then I'm going to walk you through the process of downloading it and installing it onto your web browser. Now, if you guys find this video beneficial and you guys learn something, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button as it'll help me out a lot. Now, with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So, what exactly is MetaMask? MetaMask is a third-party web extension that allows you to interact with the Ethereum ecosystem. And because it allows you to interact with the Ethereum ecosystem, it also allows you to interact with the tokens that are built on top of Ethereum, which are known as ERC-20 tokens. Now, at the same time, MetaMask also serves as a wallet. And in addition to allowing you to store Ethereum, it also allows you to store these ERC-20 tokens in the wallet. And at the same time, MetaMask also allows you to interact with decentralized applications that are built on top of Ethereum. An example of these decentralized applications is OpenSea, Rarible, and uh, other websites that allows you to buy and sell NFTs and interact with things that are built on the Ethereum ecosystem once again. Now, but also what you can do with MetaMask is it allows you to interact with decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap. Uniswap is an Ethereum-based exchange that allows you to swap between Ethereum and other tokens that are built on top of Ethereum. So that's what MetaMask is as a whole. Now, I'm going to show you how to actually download it and install it onto your web browser. So what you want to do is you want to head over to the MetaMask website. Please make sure that you go over to the official website because there are fake websites out there and you don't want to download something that's uh, fraud-like. So you're going, to, you're going to download it according to whatever uh, web browser that you have. I use Brave Browser, and when you're downloading extensions onto the Brave Browser, you're going to treat it as if you're downloading it for Chrome. So I'm going to click the Chrome option, and I'm going to hit the Download option and wait for it to download. Now, once you have it downloaded, you will be able to install it. So we're going to click the Install MetaMask option, and it's going to take us over to this interface. We're going to click Add to Brave, and we're going to add the extension. Now while we wait, I'm going to close this page, and there we go. Once you add the MetaMask application over to your extensions, it will take you over to this page and you can cancel everything out. So now before I continue, I like to pin my MetaMask over here in the top right hand corner so it's an easier shortcut. And now we're going to get started. So you're going to click the get started option and it's going to give you the option to whether you want to recover a prior MetaMask wallet or create a new one. So if you already created a wallet and have a 12 word recovery phrase, you would be able to recover your funds from that wallet from this page over here. Now I'm assuming you're starting a new wallet Otherwise, you want to be watching this video, so we're going to create a wallet. This is telling you not to um, give out any personal information. You have, I agree, and it's going to give you an option to make a new password. So do that. And you hit the I agree to terms and conditions and create, and it's going to take you to this page. Now, from this page, it's going to give you your secret backup phrase, which is 12 words which again is absolutely crucial that you have because this is what's going to allow you to recover access to your funds if you were to go over to another um, computer or lose your access to your MetaMask in any way. So click here to, rev to reveal your 12 words and you're going to write down the order of these 12 words. Don't misspell anything because spelling matters. So I'm going to do this off camera because it's going to take a minute, but I'll see you in two seconds. Once you have your words written down, you click next, and you're going to write these words in order in the same way you just wrote them down on your page. So my first word was ripple, then orient, then anxiety, then beef, length, noise, rapid sibling whale feel, rapid sibling whale feel, elevator, and then can. Once you have them in the right order, it's going to give you the option to confirm, and congratulations, you're all done. Now it's going to take us over to the MetaMask interface, and you'll be able to start using the wallet. 
So you would be able to swap if you wanted to. That's not what we're going to do. We're going to hit the cancel option and it's going to take us over to this page over here. Now from this page, you can click these three dots to gather more information on your account. So you would be able to go to account details and see more details on recent transactions. Uh, if you go over to the ether scan, you would be able to see transactions that have already occurred. So uh, we wouldn't be able to do that now because we have, this is a new wallet. So uh, we can't do that. And then over here, this is your wallet address. So if you wanted to send funds over to the wallet address, you can do that using this option. Now, one thing I didn't mention in the video is that MetaMask is a third party. So by you sending funds over to the MetaMask wallet, you're trusting this third party with your private keys and then therefore you're trusting them with your funds and your cryptocurrencies. So you're at risk uh, if something were to happen to MetaMask when you do so. So the option that I like to use is connecting a hardware wallet over to your MetaMask. So if you have a Trezor wallet or a Nano Ledger S or an X, you would be able to connect that hardware wallet over to your MetaMask. So to do that, you'd click on this button over here and it's going to give you the option to connect to hardware wallet. Now, I'm not going to actually connect my hardware wallet over to this MetaMask because this MetaMask was just a demo to show you guys how it works. But it's pretty straightforward. What you would do is choose whatever wallet that you have if you have a ledger or a Trezor, and then you would connect it. And then from there, it would give you the account details that you have on your hardware device. You would choose which account that you would want to connect, and then you, hit the, you would hit the connect option, and you would be good to go. It's pretty straightforward. Again, I'm just not going to do it because I don't want to connect my hardware wallet over to this dummy account. But I hope you guys found this video beneficial. And if you guys learned something, again, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.